Hello, my name is Green, and today I'm back with another episode of Build School. This time I'm going to be covering how you sort of do your ambience around your house. So, in order to do that, I'm going to have to, first of all, build a very quick house. So, I just started off improvising a rather wooden looking house that I thought would fit in a multitude of scenarios. And I am going to call this video something like building in biomes because I will be sort of featuring a few biomes and how we can integrate a build into that biome specifically. It is incredibly easy to do, but it is something that people don't really consider. That usually ends up with a lot of buildings look like they were just pasted or plopped straight into the landscape that they're in, but with a few minor details you can actually make that house or whatever structure you've built really belong in its surroundings, and it's a simple thing to do and that's what we're going to try and tackle today. So this is the house that I've made, I've only sort of focused on the front, very minuscule detailing, and I'm just going to stack it along where we will make our biomes. Let's get right into it. So I have all my houses laid out, and the first thing we're going to need to do is just give a little terrain, because obviously if you have this in a survival world, it's not going to be completely flat. So a nice few things to do is to add flowers and grass everywhere, especially if you've been building, you would have cleared a lot of that out. Just replacing those integrates the house a lot more than you think. Another thing to do is add a custom tree. Minecraft trees, while handy in great numbers, are not too good on their own, so if you make a nice custom tree, it can make the house fit in really nicely. Secondly, if it's in a spring kind of plains biome, you can add piles of logs like that, and you can see just the path, the trees, the grass, the flowers, and just all those little things make it so much nicer and integrated. Next up, I want to talk about how you could integrate a house into a swamp biome. I've just simulated one really quickly with Voxel Sniper, not gonna worry too much there. So, a swamp biome is not an ideal place to live, but you could change your blocks up to be darker to match the scene. You also can add vines and leaves everywhere to make it look just as overgrown as the swamp around it. This sort of integrates it, and instead of gravel, I add some rocks and some path made of podzol. I think the darker tones of this integrate the house a lot more than, say, flowers do. Next up, I want to talk to you about snow biomes. Very easy to do, uh, just add a lot of snow. However, getting your hands on snow in survival is not easy. If you have world edit, you can use the command forward slash forward slash snow, and it just covers it all with snow. If you can get your hands on some actual layered snow, adding these small layers that build up around the house integrate it in ways that you cannot even imagine. It is really easy just to make it look like snow has legitimately piled up. You can also add some ice there as icicles, although they are a little unsightly, it's up to you how you want to place them. And lastly, you can add a chimney with some smoke coming out just to seal the deal on a snowy biome. And then lastly, I was going to do desert, but then I thought, why not just show how to ruin a house? Because it comes in handy, and I actually got asked this quite a lot, surprisingly. So the first thing you can do is literally just break parts of the house up and then on the floor add those particular blocks that they're just free floating on the floor. You can also add vines in the little cracks that you make and integrate it into the parts of the building that you broke. Also, you can add staircases of the type of block you used as the wall and just place them in there to make it look like there are cracks taken out of the wall. And then finally, you can just add some leaves everywhere to make sure that they look really overgrown. And so I'm just going to have a quick look through all the ones that we've talked about really quick because I did go very fast this video. The snow biome, very easy to do, just add some snow. And in the swamp biome, you can change up your block colours using World Edit if you know how and make it overgrown and add some rocks in there as well. And then finally, the most applicable to the survival world, which with lots of flowers and a custom made tree, you can make it look really appropriate. And as you can see, adding just very minute details throughout your builds just to integrate them into the terrain are really effective ways of improving your build. Creating an ambience that matches the biome is essential to creating a feel and it's very difficult to describe how to achieve that. So I was just trying to show you and sort of try and get a few ideas across. I'm sure you 
uh, as the creative people that you are, will think of more things that you could do applicable to certain biomes. So adding a small touch here, or a custom tree there, or a bit more foliage, you're going to improve your build tenfold. I know I went through this video very, very quickly. I'm trying really hard to set up a lot of content and get myself on a strict schedule, but it has been very difficult. I am very new to the YouTube thing. It's uh, It's been a very fast growing thing for me, as a lot of you point out. So I want to take this opportunity again to thank you all so much for your support. It has been astounding. And I would love some feedback. What are your favourite series? What would you like to see more of? Um, try not to be too negative and, you know, just generally be nice to each other as you always have. And I'm so happy to announce that the community server is underway. I am working on several things. It is going to be based around a community of builders and also having lots of fun. I will keep you updated as we go along. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Goodbye!